The following is a fan-made review. Minamike is the property of Dayumi, TV Tokyo, King Records, and Koharu Sakuraba. Please support the official release. Who would have thought an anime as simplistic as this one could be so entertaining? <laughs> Y'all, is the Black Critic Guy. I'm back in my old dorm. I'm back in college, as you can tell. And I'm here today to review an anime called Minamike. A very simplistic anime that can fool you at first sight because it looks like it's going to be just like this boring anime with three sisters. But it's actually quite entertaining. Don't let it fool you. Because the plot is so simplistic, I'm just going to say it here right now instead of doing a narration. Minamike follows the lives of three sisters. The oldest, wisest, and motherly Haruka the simple-minded, eccentric, and gluttonous Kana, and the youngest, intellectual, and abusive Chiaki. The whole story revolves around the three and the crazy antics and situation each sister experiences with each other and with other people. Now going into this anime, I honestly thought that this was going to be like one of those animes that just its the same as always. You have these three sisters, they go through their lives, you know, it's that dull and boring cliche generic anime but i actually found myself very entertained some of the things they did in this anime is rarely seen in slice of life animes and i'm going to get into that starting off with my pros the first pro of this anime is that it's very entertaining like i mentioned earlier i mean they had a lot of funny jokes the characters were fun to watch and actually there's a show within this show called sensei and nominikun it's so hilarious because it's over the top uh, melodrama and they just like they're ripping on it and, like you could tell they're ripping on it it's hilarious The anime is subpar in some scenes, but this anime was made in 2007, so this is before the animation got a little better, but it was in the middle, like, this is the this is the point where animation is starting to get better, but this is still its low point. But there are some good animated scenes, like, especially when um, they zoom into their eyes. They, they go from having, like, innocent, you know, cute eyes, and they zoom in and it's, like, serious. Whenever they're having, like, a serious conversation or when a uh, character's angry or when they're joking around, they zoom into these eyes. The relationship between the three sisters were realistic, believable, and hilarious. But the relationship one sister shares with another sister is different from the relationship another sister has with another sister. Like, case in point, Haruka is different around Chiaki, as Chiaki is different around Kana. Kana is different around Haruka. Each one has their own different relationship with their sister. And I really just enjoyed seeing how they interacted with each other. It was hilarious, fun, and entertaining. Now to go into how this anime is different from other slice of life animes like A Channel, Lucky Star, Pony Pony Dash. And that is, they have a really strong supporting cast. Now, as much as this story really revolves around the three sisters, it also revolves around their relationship with others. And that means others other people, the supporting cast, play a huge role in this anime. And each one brought something fresh to the table. They were entertaining, they didn't overshadow the main characters, and my major pro of this anime that makes it different from any other slice of life anime I've ever seen. It was a major complaint in a lot of the other slice of life main girl animes, and that is, they have really strong male characters in this anime. Particularly, you got each one from each of the sisters' grades. You got Makoto from Chiaki's grade, and he is, uh, we'll get into him a little bit, but he's entertaining in his own way, and he's really hilarious. Next, we got Fujioka, who has a really strong crush on Kana, and his character development is so strong, and I like his character. He's entertaining, and they call him um, the leader of the delinquents, um, Bancho. They call him Bancho, and I find that really hilarious. And my favorite of the bunch is Hosoka. Hosoka is quite an interesting character. He really is rarely shown, but when he's shown, he is hilarious. And he has these things where he has fantasies in his head, kind of like what a normal guy would think about if he saw like a hot girl and had a fantasy. 
His fantasies are one of the most funniest moments in this anime, and for that, this anime stands out. Now to get into some cons. Now this anime is really hard to come up with cons because it does what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be just a slice of life simplistic anime, but there are a few cons I had. Two in particular. First of all, this anime is generic. You can tell. You got your generic characters, you know, you got the smart girl, you got the athletic girl, you got the annoying girl, you got the cool guy, just generic characters. In fact, before the anime starts, it actually has a disclaimer saying this is just a, a normal show about three sisters, don't expect too much from it. And, you know, I took that into consideration. But when you do that, you just, like, lower your standards, make your standards higher, have people expect to be amazed, don't lower yourself. Make yourself higher. My biggest con of this anime that it just really annoyed me afterwards. It was funny at first, but then he just kept doing it and doing it. And that's the gender switch that some of the characters do. As I mentioned Makoto before, he went to the Manami household, helped Haruko, and he fell in love. Now this irritated Chi Chiaki because she had a strong relationship with her sister. So she forbid him forever coming. And so the only way he could get close to her was to dress up as a girl. Now that concept is funny in itself, but when it's overdone to the point where, okay, now you're getting creepy, it just got really weird. And then you have a girl named Toma who uh, Chiaki mistakes for a boy, but she's actually a girl. She even mentions, hey, I'm actually a girl. But so she's playing a pseudo boy, and I, I was like, okay, that's weird. Overall, though, Minami K is a very entertaining anime with simplistic yet humorous storytelling and likable characters. And for that, I will give this anime a 4 out of 5 stars. It is worth the watch. If you like the slice of life genre, like comedies, give it a watch. I really recommend it. But anyway, what did you guys think of this anime? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was okay? Did you think it was too simplistic? Comment below and let me know. Anyway. I'm the Black Critic Guy, bridging the gap between movies and anime reviews. Till then, peace YouTube.